Magic Lantern firmware can be downloaded on an SD card and put into a number of Canon cameras. The features offered by Magic Lantern vary from camera to camera, but often the most compelling is to shoot 14-bit RAW on a camera that's designed to max out at H.264. Sounds crazy, right? So you go out and you shoot your 14-bit RAW video and you're really excited and you can't wait to get back and open up those files. One problem. When you open up the folder and offload the files, you can't open them. No matter what you try, nothing seems to work. If you can relate to this, then I've got just the video for you. Today, we're going to be going through the quickest, easiest and most efficient workflow for opening, editing and converting your MLV files. So what we've got here is a Magic Lantern RAW file that we're going to be working on. We'll be using an application to open, edit and convert this file, but don't worry, it's completely free and very user friendly. The app is called MLV App. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find and download this app. Once the app is open, you simply drag and drop the MLV files, or in this case file, over into the session panel on the left hand side of the screen. If you think that this whole app and screen and setup looks really familiar then you'd be right. It bears an uncanny resemblance to the camera raw filter found in Photoshop for example which is great news for Adobe users. Now I'm not going to dive too much into all of the controls here because one, the vast majority of the controls are very self-explanatory and two, obviously the controls you use are heavily dependent on what footage you're working with. But hang on, say that you just wanted to make these MLV files Premiere Pro compatible for example and do all of your colour correction and grading all in Premiere or DaVinci so that everything stays consistent. Well, you can export these in ProRes so that you're retaining much of the data that you wouldn't get with H.264. It's worth mentioning here that there are a number of log profiles for you to choose from, including Film, Alexa, Sony. Again, these are profiles that you can experiment with yourself. Finally, to export your clip, you're going to need to check the export settings. To do this, click on the two cog icons at the top. I'm using Apple ProRes 4444 as this is the highest quality of Apple ProRes. Go to File, Export, Selected Clips, choose a file location, name it, click Save. That's it, that simple. You can then import the files into a non-linear editor of your choice. Magic Lantern Raw Confusion, solved. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. It really does help me out a lot in smashing this YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment and let me know how you're getting on with the app and whether you're enjoying Magic Lantern firmware. Finally, click the subscribe button and also that bell icon. It really does help me out a lot as well. I post two videos a week, so it'll be well worth it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.